Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Ram. Today our topic of discussion is dead space, minute ventilation and alveolar ventilation. This is a very small topic but it is very important for the MCQ point of view. Coming to the anatomical and physiological dead space. What do you understand by anatomical and physiological dead space? These are the spaces where there is no exchange of gases. For example, the main purpose of lung is for exchange of gases. If it is not happening in these regions, in some regions, they are called as dead space. It naturally happens in some areas. Let's see what are all these areas. For example, this is the alveolar pathway, simplistic diagram and this is the alveolar region. This upper zone in functional anatomy of the respiratory system also we have seen that is called as conducting zone. And the below Z zone is called as respiratory zone. Respiratory zone. Is there any gaseous exchange in the conducting zone? No. Under normal conditions also, there is no gaseous exchange in the conducting zone. In conducting zone, no gas exchange. Gas exchange is not happening. That's why this region, this conducting zone region, is called as anatomical dead space in anatomical structure itself it is not doing any gases exchange so it is called as anatomical dead space anatomical dead space the normal value is around 150 ml in a normal a normal 70 kg adult or it is one third of tidal volume what is tidal volumes value we know tidal volume is normally 500 ml so it is around one third of it so around 150 160 or weight in pounds Suppose in a 70 kg male, if you calculate his weight, in, it is approximately 150 pounds. So weight in pounds, that is also 150 ml. So the value is 150 ml or it can be one third of tidal volume or the weight in pounds. How do we measure the anatomical dead space? Anatomical dead space is measured using a method called as N2 washout method. And here we are doing a single breath N2 washout method. Whereas multiple breath wash, the uh, end to washout method is used for measurement of residual volume. Here we are measuring the anatomical dead space with single breath end to washout method. And this method is named as Fowler's method. Then coming to the physiological dead space. Physiological dead space means this anatomical dead space, anatomical dead space plus this alveolar dead space, alveolar dead space alveolar dead space both of this together they make up the physiological dead space under normal conditions this alveolar dead space is 0 ml so in a normal subject this physiological dead space is equal to the anatomical dead space but if somebody is having some respiratory lung disorder wherein all the alveoli are not functioning some of the alveoli are not functioning let's take some of the alveoli are not functioning in this region so what will happen is it will create some alveolar dead space so that the normal physiological dead space will be increased because physiological dead space is the sum of anatomical dead space and alveolar dead space but in a normal subject what is the ratio between physiological and anatomical dead space it is same one is to one the ratio is one is to one now let's see what is minute ventilation and alveolar ventilation minute ventilation the term is very simple that is how much amount of air that can be taken in by the lung during quiet breathing so minute ventilation is nothing but our tidal volume and respiratory rate our normal tidal volume as we know it is 500 ml and respiratory rate in normal adult is around 12 so the value becomes 6000 ml this is minute ventilation this is the amount of air that goes into the lung and comes out of the lung during each minute but what is alveolar ventilation alveolar ventilation means the amount of air that is going only to the alveolar system or the gas exchange system we can say so which part is not involved in gaseous exchange the answer is anatomical dead space is not involved in gaseous exchange so we have to subtract that amount so the normal tidal volume is 500 minus the anatomical dead space which is 150 
into the normal respiratory rate which is 12 will give us 4200 ml most of the times this value mcqs are given and the students always do minute ventilation for alveolar ventilation please pay attention to the question and see whether it is alveolar ventilation whether the question asked is alveolar ventilation or minute ventilation in alveolar ventilation you have to subtract the dead space volume which is 150 ml or whatever is given specifically in the question so that is it for this lecture thank you very much